The science of flipping. Exactly. What is it? Why does it happen? And how can we learn it? But first, let me tell you a story. It was the summer of 2016 when I got really interested in flipping. Now, sometimes it was successful. And other times it was stressful. But whether flipping or face planting, one thing holds true, and that is the laws of physics. You see, I was just thinking about how the science of it all works, and it just hit me. Let's start off simple. We're not gonna do no front flip, no back flip. We're gonna start off with a cartwheel. But when we take off our hands, it becomes an aerial. This is the science of an aerial, or I guess a better title for this video would be why it's impossible to land on your face. <laughs> While flipping, of course. Because the big fear that a lot of people have with doing flips is that, well, you're upside down and people are scared that they're gonna land on their face. <sighs> Let's stop flipping around this topic and get straight to the point. One simple trick that'll help you get a flip. You won't land on your face. Because of what? Physics. You see, it's all about the centrifugal force. Centra meaning center, fugal meaning away. It's the force that goes away from the center. You see, if the camera was the center, then the centrifugal force will be away away from the center. It's all about that boy, Newton. And he had this law. He actually had three laws. The first law being that an object at rest stays at rest, like if it's on a table. But if we pour water over my arm and there's no friction, then an object in motion stays in motion. Now I'm gonna talk about the centrifugal force in terms of circular motion. Now. Centrifugal force is like a grade 12 to first year university concept. So I'm going to be using a bit of a demonstration to help explain this to you. Using this spinny thing. When I'm spinning, I feel like I'm getting pulled out. Pulled out from the center of the spinning device. It's kind of like as if I'm in a car and I'm making a continual left turn and I'm being pushed to the side of the car. And this is what it feels like when a driver accelerates to the left without braking. Oh, oh. Because when I let go, oh, I fall out. But I don't fall out while turning in an angle, I fall in a straight line. That's because as soon as I let go, inertia takes over from that centrifugal force pushing me out, and I go in a straight line. The centrifugal force and inertia are very closely tied together. From my perspective, watching someone spin, the centrifugal force doesn't really exist. Practically, it's inertia pulling someone through. But from the perspective of that guy, you can feel it. And it feels real. Too dizzy for this. Essentially, when I do a flip and I go upside down, it's as if my head is the center of the pole and my feet are on the outside swinging. And back to flips, how does this help? When you actually do an aerial, you can feel the centrifugal force pushing upwards on you as you travel to the side. I want to show you what it's going to look like if you flip from my point of view. Now when I was upside down in the air, I actually felt a force pulling up on me. Technically it was pulling down on me because I was upside down. It's mighty spooky. In actuality, if you really want to learn how to do an aerial, I have a tutorial on how to do an aerial on my channel. One final, final thing. Whoa. May the centrifugal force be with you. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh